Cinema 4D Release 12 offers a large variety of new features like linear workflow, lighting enhancements, character tools, deformers, and a powerful dynamic simulation system. There's also major changes under the hood. The entire application now supports double precision, and there's been a number of API tweaks, including Python support and Melange, a library that allows developers to read and write Cinema 4D files. Unfortunately, the massive changes mean that all C++ plugins have to be tweaked by their developers before you can use them in Release 12, and scenes you create in Release 12 can't be open in prior releases of Cinema 4D. Of course, once you start enjoying the powerful workflow enhancements and new features in Release 12, you won't want to go back. One major change in Release 12 is the addition of dual transforms. These act like a virtual parent null for each object. By freezing the position, scale, or rotation of an object, you can zero out the main coordinates, making it simpler to animate or add expressions. You'll mainly manage dual transforms within the Coordinates tab of each object's attributes, but there's also new modes in the Coordinates Manager to view and manipulate the values relative to the frozen coordinates or based on the absolute position of the object once the transformation is applied. Cinema 4D now uses double precision throughout the application. While this might not be immediately noticeable to the user, it helps to eliminate rounding errors and ensures more reliable results when dealing with scenes that include both very small and very large objects. In Release 12, Cinema 4D now supports true units, with specific document scaling. Prior versions of Cinema 4D allowed you to specify a unit label but it wasn't taken into account in calculations or when opening the scene on a different computer. Now each document is saved with an actual scale value and base unit. On each computer you're able to specify what units you want to work with and the document scale is adapted to your display unit. There's also an option to automatically convert units so that small values like one thousandth of a centimeter are displayed as one hundredth of a millimeter instead. In the Import-Export Preferences, you'll find an option to define the scale that should be applied when you open older scenes in Cinema 4D R12. The Preference window itself has been overhauled in Cinema 4D R12. It now works much like the Attribute Manager, so you're able to search for preferences and show help for a specific entry. A lot of the preferences have been reorganized, so that search function will come in handy. Another handy addition in Release 12 is the Pick Mode for Link Fields. Any field in Cinema 4D where you reference an object or layer now has an arrow to the far right. Clicking this enters pick mode and lets you click within the view or the object manager to specify the object that should be linked. In addition to these general enhancements to Cinema 4D, Release 12 includes lots of cool features like linear workflow, dynamics, and character tools. We'll cover those in more detail in the remaining videos.